everybody, thank you for joining me on the A to Z Auto and Outdoors channel. We're going to repair the threads and number two cylinder spark plug hole. It has blown the spark plug out. Customer stated noise under the hood and loss of power. Um, this procedure also will go for small engines like dirt bikes, lawnmowers, um, very common on Ford two-valve V8 engines that's in the F-150. I'm going to crank the car so you can hear the noise and be familiar with what this sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and pull the coil out. So y'all can see what damage it does to the ignition coil. You're going to want to put a new spark plug and a new coil after you repair the threads. This is what it does. The heat and the compression actually melts the coil. And therefore, we have new coil and spark plugs. You're going to need this kit. It's made by Helicoil. Here's the part number. I'm going to add all these part numbers in the description. It comes with these inserts in the kit, but you don't have to buy a new kit every time. You can buy just the insert. And this is the one we need for this Toyota with the long threads. Okay, first, you're going to use the tap that is supplied. But when you do that, you want to add some sort of grease to the tab to help catch the aluminum shavings that are going to come off of that tab. It could be wet red wheel bearing grease. Right now, I'm actually going to use some dielectric grease. That'll help keep some of the shavings from falling down into the cylinder on top of the piston. So you want to start that straight, run the tap down to the point it breaks all the way through the bottom of the threads, the threaded hole in the cylinder head. When you pull it out, the shavings will stick to the grease and you'll get less shavings in the cylinder. You'll still get some. So then you grab your insert. And I keep a spark plug like this with a flat here where this would normally have a washer on it. You cannot use a tapered sealing spark plug. It will actually expand these knurls. And you want to use a high temp sealant on here. Spread it in the threads. I like to use a rubber hose like this. Helps get it started good. Nice and straight. If it does cross thread, the hose will slip. And you can usually tell when it starts. And you pull that off. Run this down to it bottoms out. Then you want to pull this back out. the 
this out with a magnet. Make sure that the insert did stay in the cylinder head. That's where this tool comes in next. This beveled part expands the knurl, lets, lets it grab hold to the aluminum. You're gonna wanna get a punch of some sort to drive that down. It's kind of tight quarters on this car. And you want to give it a few licks. Nothing too crazy. You're just trying to expand that knurl into the aluminum head to help help it stay in there next time the spark plug is removed during the next tune-up. Then, this is when you would want to put your anti-seize or anything with the hose till it stops. Give it a good tighten. This is the time to go ahead and put your dielectric grease and your spark plug boot. Install the coil. Then you're done. Please like and subscribe if you liked what you've seen here. I've got a lot more videos coming for automotive repair and Anything outdoors, ATV riding, camping, there's a lot coming. Thank you for watching.